Hello everyone, welcome back to SSP Crack Exams. I'm Anuradha and in this session, I have brought a good news for those of you who were aspiring to sit for the AFCAT examination, which is AFCAT 2 2022 exam. As you have guessed it rightly, the short notification for AFCAT 2 2022 examination has been published by the Indian Air Force. So now we will look into this particular notification to know when you can start your registration process and start your application for this particular examination. So before we move on to know more about this notification, we should first know what AFCAT exam is all about. So first of all, we should know that AFCAT stands for Air Force Common Admission Test. It is an exam which is conducted twice every year by the Indian Air Force to recruit candidates for the Class 1 Gazetted Officers in Flying and Crown Duties, that is both technical and non-technical branches. Also, it is an exam where both male and female candidates can apply for both Short Service Commission in Flying Branch and Permanent or Short Service Commission in Ground Duties for both technical and non-technical roles. So now we will look into the short notification published for AFCAT 2 2022 exam and we will know about the details which have been mentioned in that notification. So it's mentioned that Indian Air Force has published the short notification of AFCAT 2 2022 exam. The registrations for this exam will start from 1st June 2022 and it will close on 30th June 2022. 2022. So, you will get a full month to start your registration and application process for this exam. AFCAT 2 2022 is the best way to join the Indian Air Force and therefore it is conducted only by CDAC on behalf of the Indian Air Force across many online exam centers. Now, who can apply for AFCAT 2 2022 exam? Online applications for this exam are invited for the courses which are going to commence in July 2023 for the grant of Short Service Commission in Flying Branch and Permanent and Short Service Commissions in Crown Duty that is technical and non-technical branches. Online applications are also invited for grant of Permanent Commission or Short Service Commission for NCC Special Entry Scheme, which is open only for Flying Branch and for Meteorology Entry. So if you are aspiring to go through these entries, you can also apply for this particular examination of AFCAT 2 2022. Now we will look into the tentative entries, branches and course numbers and vacancies for AFCAT 2 2022 exam. So through AFCAT entry for flying branch, the course number is 214-23F SSC M and W. For ground duty technical, that is for aeronautical engineer electronics and aeronautical engineer mechanical, the course numbers are 213-23T PC 103AEC M and 213-23T SSC 103AEC M and W. For ground duty non-technical branch, the course numbers are 21323G PCM and 21323G SSCM and W. For meteorology entry and that is for meteorology branch, the course numbers are 21323G PCM and 21323G SSCM and W. Now, the number of vacancies for both men and women for the AFCAT entry as well as for meteorological entry is not released as the official notification will be released on 1st June 2022. So, we will let you know about the confirmed number of vacancies through these entries once the official notification is out on the same date. Now, we will move on to NCC special entry. As you know, it is only through the flying branch and the course numbers are 21423F PCM and 21423F SSCM and W. Now, the vacancies are basically 10% of seats out of CDSE vacancies for permanent commission and 10% seats out of AFCAT vacancies for SSC that is reserved for NCC special entry. There is also uh, two seats which will be reserved for the ground duty non-technical for the law qualified candidates. So, these are different reservations that will be provided 
through the AFCAT entries specifically for the NCC special entry and for the law graduates. The number of vacancies again will be confirmed on the official notification and will be related to you once we get it on 1st of June 2022. Now we will move on to the age limit. Now these are very important. You should know about the eligibility criteria uh, while uh, you know applying for the various branches of AFCAT. So we were talking about flying branch and we will know about the age limit criteria here. So you must be 20 to 24 years of age as of 1st July 2023. To be more precise, your date of birth should be between 2nd July 1999 and 1st July 2003 and your date of birth can also be on these dates as well. So both dates are inclusive. For the upper age limit for candidates holding valid and current commercial pilot license issued by DGCA India, it is relaxable up to the age of 26 years which and they, you should be born between 2nd July 1997 to 1st July 2003, both dates inclusive. Now we will move on to the age limit for the ground duty technical branch. For that you sure your age should be between 20 and 26 years as of 1st July 2023. To be more precise your date of birth should be between 2nd July 1997 and 1st July 2003 both dates inclusive. For the ground duty non-technical branch as well your age should be between 20 and 26 years as of 1st July 2023 that is you should be born between 2nd July 1997 and 1st July 2003, both dates inclusive. So now that you have checked your date of births, it is also important for you to check your educational qualification for each of these branches. So we will start with the educational qualification criteria for flying branch. So you should have a graduation degree with minimum 60% marks in your graduation and minimum 50% marks in mathematics and physics in your 10 plus 2 standard. You can also be a BE or BTEC candidate who have scored a minimum of 60% marks in your BE or BTEC uh, degree and you should also have a minimum 60% marks in maths and physics in 10 plus 2 in your 12th standard. Moving on to the educational qualification for the ground duty technical branch, you should have a BE or BTEC degree with minimum 60% marks in notified streams as will be mentioned in the official notification of AFCAT 2 2022 exam and you should also have 50% marks in physics and maths in 10 plus 2 standard. This is a compulsory qualification that is required for ground duty technical branch. Moving on to the qualifications required for the ground duty non-technical branch in administration and logistics department you should have a graduation degree with minimum 60% marks or equivalent. For the accounts department, you should have a BCom degree with minimum 60% marks or equivalent. And for education branch, you should have a post-graduation degree that is an MBA, MCA, MA or MSc degrees in English, Physics, Mathematics, Chemistry, Statistics, International Relations, International Studies, Defense Studies, Psychology, Computer Science, IT, Management, Mass Communication, Journalism or Public Relation with minimum 50% marks along with minimum 60% marks in graduation. So these are very basic criteria for your educational qualifications needed for different branches. Now the question may arise how you can start applying for AFCAT 2 2022 exam. It will only be feasible once the official notification is out on 1st June 2022. The application process should be purely online and it should be done by visiting the websites careerindianairforce.cdac.in or afcat.cdac.in slash afcat slash. So you can visit any of these two sites and start your application process on 1st June itself. Please remember that Aadhaar card is mandatory for online registration. Now we will move on to the next part of our today's session but before that let me also show you that if you want to start your preparation for AFCAT 2 2022 exam with solid and very full-fledged details and information and study you can do so very easily by following our AFCAT exam online course 2022 which has been exclusively given for you and it is provided through our app. So if you have not downloaded our app yet please do so by downloading our SSV crack exams learning app from the Google Play Store and getting yourself enrolled into this course where all the subjects related to the AFCAT 2 2022 exam have been covered in full-fledged details along with good video lectures 
PDF study materials that can be downloaded and referred to during studying and revision. There are also quizzes provided along with sample practice Q&A, solved previous year's Q&A, practice exercise sets and much more. Also, after you have taken your AFCA 2 2022 exam, you should also go for the SSB interview that is in your uh, particular AFSBs. For that, we have also provided SSB interview online course, which is the best course in the entire market. And you can also get a hold of this course and start your preparation early on by getting yourself enrolled into this particular course through our app itself. Inside this course, you will find all the testing procedures of SSB being detailedly explained and not only that, you will also get a chance to be a part of a live interactive SSB classes which take place regularly and in monthly batches. So now we will move on to the next important thing that the candidates for AFCAT examination ask and that is what will be the selection procedure for AFCAT 2 2022 exam. So first of all, you need to take the AFCAT online exam that is AFCAT 2 2022 online exam which will be conducted across the country at different exam centers. The candidates will then need to che check their marks, cutoff marks, etc. on the official portal with the publication of results by Indian Air Force. Once you have qualified the cutoff, you will be called for the AFSBs, that is for SSB interview. And for that, you need to choose your AFSB interview centers and dates on the same portal. Now, you then have to go and take your uh, SSB interview procedures. Once you get recommended in your AFSB interview, you will be sent for medical examination. And once you are declared medically fit in your medical exams, then you have to wait for the final selection on the basis of the final merit list which will be published. Once your name is there on the final merit list, you will get also a joining letter for your academy. So now the next thing is exam scheme. So many students may ask that how we can take the AFCAT 2022 online exam. The scheme is very easy. First of all, those of you who will be opting for the ground duty technical branch need to appear for both AFCAT as well as engineering knowledge test or EKT. AFCAT and EKT are conducted in two days with AFCAT exam taking place in two shifts on each day. So in each day, there will be two shifts for the AFCAT examination. So AFCAT and EKT exam are take place on both the days for four shifts in total. Now we will look into the syllabus for AFCAT 2 2022 exam. Basically, the AFCAT 2 2022 exam will consist of one paper and it will consist of the four sections. And the section is English, Numerical Ability, Reasoning and Military Aptitude and General Knowledge. In the English section, you will get questions from topics like Comprehension, Error Detection, Synonyms, Antonyms and Testing of Vocabulary, Sentence Completion, Fill in the Correct Word, Idioms and Phrases. For Numerical Ability, topics like Decimal Fraction, Time and Work, Average, Profit and Loss, Percentage, Ratio and Proportion, Simple Interest, Time and Distance regarding Trains, Boats and Streams will be asked. Reasoning and military aptitude will consist of verbal skills and spatial ability. For general knowledge, you have to cover the topics like history, geography, civics, politics, current affairs, environment, basic science, defense, art, culture, sports, and so on. Now, we will also look into the exam pattern for AFCAT and EKT 2 2022 exam. So, for AFCAT, you need to go through the subjects like general awareness, verbal ability or English, numerical ability, and reasoning and military aptitude tests. The duration of the entire paper will be 2 hours and the questions will be 100 in total and the total marks of the entire AFCAT exam will be 300. For EKT, questions from topics like mechanical, computer science and electrical and electronics will be asked. The paper will consist of 45 minutes of duration and 50 questions of a total of 150 marks. Now, you should also ask about the marking scheme. That is, if there is any negative marking, yes, of course, there is a negative marking. For every correct answer, you will score three marks and you will lose one mark if you are incorrectly answering any question. However, if you are skipping any question, that is, you are not attempting any question, no marks will be awarded for that. Now, we will move on to the most important part of this session, that is, the tentative dates that you need to mark in your calendar, since these are very important dates that you need to look forward to. If you are interested to apply for AFCAT 2 2022 exam, as I've already mentioned throughout the session that the AFCAT 2 2022 official notification will be published on 1st June 2022. And on the same date itself, the online application process for AFCAT 2 2022 exam will also start. You will get a whole month to apply since the last date to apply for this exam will be 30th June 2022. The admit card will be released for this exam in August 2022, that is 
uh, two weeks before the exam dates. The exam dates will be in August 2022 tentatively. Again, we will know uh, we will know the confirmed dates once the official notification for this exam is out on 1st June and we will let you know about those dates and you can mark them again in your calendars. The date of result declaration for AFCA 2 2022 exam will be in one month and it will be in September 2022. So now that you have known these tentative dates, please make sure that you are a bit aware about these dates, especially on 1st June since the official notification will be releasing on that date and we'll know, got to know a lot of things which are not yet confirmed like the number of vacancies and also the exam dates which are also very, very important. Now, before I end the session, I also want to give you the major highlight that will be a major thing to look forward to for AFCAT 2 2022 exam and that is the new question pattern. From AFCAT 1 2022 examination itself, the question pattern has been changed. Now, there are four sections from where the questions are asked. Numerical ability, reasoning and military aptitude, English or verbal ability and general awareness. Earlier, what happened? The maximum number of questions used to come from reasoning and military aptitude. But the question pattern has been changed from the previous examination. And now the new question pattern will be followed in your upcoming AFCAT 2 2022 exam as well. The maximum number of questions will now not come from reasoning and military aptitude. It will now come from English or verbal ability section. So here you can see your new question pattern will be therefore something like this. For your numerical ability, you will get 20 questions. For your reasoning and military aptitude, you will get 25 questions. For general awareness, you will get 25 questions. And from English or verbal ability section, you will get 30 questions. So you can understand that the major amount of questions and the largest weightage of marks is now dedicatively coming from the English section. So it is very important for you to start stressing on the English topics more start practicing questions more since it will quite be a scoring uh, subject, a scoring section because it is having the largest amount of marks and also the questions from it. So make sure that you are giving a lot of emphasis on the English section since the largest number of questions are from that and it will help you to score the maximum amount of marks in your AFCAT 2 2022 exam as well. So do not worry at all. We have already provided the AFCA 2 2022 exam related course insider app. So you can start your preparation from today. Also, those of you who are having lots of SSB interviews lined up throughout the year can now get a golden opportunity by getting yourself enrolled into our SSB interview online course 2022. And you can get one year full access. So there's a lot of discount which will be provided for you. And you can get one year full access to this course where in one year also you can every month join our SSB interview live classes and make your preparation in a much more better way and in a much more solid way. Also, if you're preparing for any other defense exams, you can also check out a plethora of courses that we have provided for different defense exams inside our app. You can also get yourself enrolled into AFCAT exam online course and start your preparation from today, as I said. But there are also other courses available for other defense exams, which you can check out. Last but not the least is to download our SSB Crack Exams app from the Google Play Store. And while getting yourself enrolled into any of the courses, do not forget to use the code WARRIOR10 to get an extra 10% off on any of the courses. So that was it. I hope the short notification for AFCAT 2 2022 exam has been quite clear to you. Please wait for the official notification which will come out on 1st June 2022 and then also on that day I will bring forward for you certain more important uh, things like vacancies and the dates of the, your examination which will be confirmed through those uh, through that official notification that will be published on 1st June. So that's it guys I hope that this notification has been quite clear to you and that you will start your AFCAT exam preparation from today itself. Get yourself enrolled into the course as soon as possible. Start your preparation and just be successful and touch the sky with all the glory. Till then everyone, stay tuned to SSB Crack Exams and always stay positive and motivated. Jai